Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, we've we've been sitting around for a few minutes before we get started. Well, trying to warm up. Yeah. Candace has been like rotating herself like a marshmallow yeah. around that heater. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a good listing day yesterday. I think um, we ended up listing 27 items for 578. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. So. Our original goal this month was 360 items for $10,000. We're currently only at 172 items, but for $7,909. And we have 11 days left. When I say that, I mean just weekdays, assuming we're not listing on weekends. Uh, but the good thing is, if we want to, we can list on weekends too. And we may, if what we're doing tomorrow happens. Right, so... Uh, like I said, we have 11 days left. We need to list 17 things a day. Uh, today is going to be a full listing day. And tomorrow on Thursday, um, uh, it's going to be a poor listing day because we're going to have another, uh, huge influx of inventory. Yeah. We have to go do, do that tomorrow afternoon. So, but then once that's done, one after Thursday, starting right here on Friday and for the rest of the month, uh, we are just going to be fully stocked and have nothing to do but list and ship, basically, pretty yeah. much. We're not going to be sourcing anymore. Um, so I, even though we're behind on our item count, I think I still think we're going to make it pretty easily. I think we will too. So, um, we do have, uh, we had a decent day on eBay and I think we sold one thing oh, on Macari, Macari yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get that stuff pulled and get to it. You ready? Yep. First item is on one echo. It's a teddy bear from Vermont teddy bear company. One echo. Yep. What color is it? Or no, I think I see it. Oh, it's kind of, it's bigger than I thought. Okay. And it's going back to Vermont. Oh. To North Springfield. We haven't marked that one yet. No. And it sold for twelve dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Let me see. I think I know where I know I know where Vermont is. Oh yeah. At this point. There's nothing really left up there. No, there's not much to screw up now. Yeah. At this point. So Vermont is right. Cha. And the only thing we have up here left is uh, Rhode Island. Oh, we haven't done Rhode Island yet. Uh, uh Rhode Island's right. This little, this little one right here, right above my finger. And that could take a while. Okay. All right. We have some yak tracks in the tiger drawer. Somebody's okay. needing those to walk in the snow right now. Yeah, this is part of a Kevin and Ding Yell buy we did, bulk buy. They sold for $10.99 going to Ogden, Utah. Four Bravo uh, Hasagawa Ferrari kit. On where? Four Bravo. Oh, yeah, one of the models. I forgot we sold one of those yesterday. It's pretty awesome. We bought a. Uh, yeah, that's it. Ferrari 328 GTS. We had um, $170 in credit yeah. on uh, Mercari that we had to spend with them. So we bought some models yeah, with it. <laughs> and then we bought four models, and this is the first of the four that have sold. Uh, $49.99 for that going to Fork Union, Virginia. We have three Walmart pens on the next order. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull those and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, okay we had uh, had to get out three of the boxes. And yeah, believe it or not, y'all, this is, uh, if you haven't been watching for very long, this is one of our better buys ever. Yeah. <laughs> These Walmart buy. pens. I yeah. mean, we have sold so many. All right, so the, the eBay item we have, um, number 49 is- um, 49 is a crown for two years 
Okay. 190. 190 is accident free. And 176. 176 is Attaboy. Those together sell for $25.97 going to Athens, Tennessee. All right, and then we have one for uh, Macari. Macari. Yeah. This uh, Be Mine Valentine Walmart. Yeah, it sold for $10 going to Milford, New England. Okay. All right, back to Milford what? New England. Are no. you sure? It's Nebraska. No. I keep saying New England. <laughs> you know, that's not it. In, in, in is Nebraska. I okay. just see any and I say New England. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Y'all thought I was bad. <laughs> I'm making up states. <laughs> I was about I, you. You said it so confidently. I was like, okay, yeah, it's going to New England. Every time I see any, I go to New England. <laughs> okay, Ten Alpha, um, a book series, Wild Gun, books one through eight. Oh, why am I going this way? I'm walking confidently yeah. towards One Alpha. All right, Ten Alpha. Uh, where the heck are these at? They might be in here. Maybe I might need a minute for this. Let me see. I bet they're in here. This is heavy. Wait, that's Swaggert in there. Okay. There's other boxes up there. This is this says tailgate cables, but it might have something else in it. All right, I'm gonna put y'all down. All right, I pulled this box down. And I think they're they are all in here. I believe. How many books is it? Eight. Eight books. All right. Wow gun. Wow gun and the reels. Let's yeah, see. Those are some westerns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those sell for twenty. They're going to Duluth, Minnesota. Alright, I'll say on the same order on two alpha, a Yukon soft side cooler. Yeah, we've had this for quite a while. What was the original price on it? Because I, I took an offer for fifteen. I remember when I found this thing I had it for 30. 30 yeah i remember when i found originally found this thing i was like oh man this is gonna be good somebody with a yukon is gonna want that right. <laughs> and uh yeah but hey i'm glad to sell it for 15 dollars. it's actually kind of nice it's a yeah, cooler it's thing a big cooler. all right next item is the ryan stimming machine on nine delta yeah that was I listed this yesterday and from the Beverly buy we did this is probably the best piece from that buy yeah it's all for $99.99 unless something else surprises us I think this is probably the best piece yeah that's and, going to Rockledge Georgia yeah I mean to think a few months ago I didn't even know what that was I know and we, then now we've sold two of them and we've seen didn't we see another one somewhere else? We've seen at least, I think I've seen two more. Yeah. But um, they were like, sometimes you see them and they, they look like they like they just weren't taken care of, all corroded. All rusty, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. like this one is like, looks it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. Okay. We have two Deadpool t shirts going out 42 and 45. Okay. I might have to put y'all down again. Eh, no? Well. I don't know. It's they're all in this long box here. Okay, I've got those things. Uh, there's a lot left. Yeah. What are those numbers again? Watch out for those. Forty-two and forty-five. Okay. Yeah, we started with a bunch. Okay, here's forty-five, and here's forty-two. Wasn't so bad. All right. Here, would you take right. that, and Where I'm gonna put. That uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Those sold for twelve ninety nine each, going to Columbus, New England. Not New England, Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're gonna sell them. To, man, we do sell a lot to Nebraska. I know. Huh? And last item is on CC9. It's a Peter Rabbit plush. Okay. So it's CC9. Yep. There's a rabbit right here. Must be him, I think. Is he wearing 
the blue jacket. He is. He sold for $8.99 going to Springfield, Ohio. Yep. Okay. So uh, that's everything that's going out today. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up. All right. We've just been listing now for a few hours. And uh, let's see. A lot of lower cost stuff. A couple of cookbooks. A list of a toy truck for 20 There's another cookbook. There's some uh, lower cost gloves. There's that Sarge's surplus hut. I listed that for 33 some cameras, repair manuals, a hat, a glove, some water filters, some uh, Lucky Brand boots, moisturizer set. Candace listed that for 60 A creme brulee set. And I think that's everything we've listed so far today. So, uh, what we what we gonna what we've been looking at? Oh my gosh, where Candace? I just saw that magnet up there. What is that? How Whoa. long has that been up there? I don't know. I've never seen that. Look, Lonnie started cleaning off the door. Was that behind? Oh, it was. It was behind something. Th that's been there before I came because I didn't know that was even there. There was. I took down the Michael Jordan poster. What? Yeah. There's. It's like okay. It's it's male anatomy. And it says David across the top of it. I think maybe Statue of David. This looks like a That looks like, is that something is that something y'all brought back from Italy? Yeah, I brought that back. I'm gonna go put it in Sarah's room. I just looked up and I was like, what Yo, is that? That was one of Sarah's favorite part of the trips was going to see the statue of David. So I'm gonna put that in her room. <laughs> she, I'll bet she put that in here and no, didn't. she didn't. She would not take Candace, that. I do not remember hanging that. You Look, y'all. All it that. is, it's basically a, a crotch shot of David. But it's like... It's, ev it's all hanging It's out. everything there. And it was a magnet, and it was right here below Mickey Mouse. Who so, was over it? Michael Jordan? Jordan. The fake Jordan auto was hiding it. You, you believe that? You don't remember that. Huh? You don't remember no. that? No. Sarah has something to do with that, probably. She must have come in here one time and... She would Why would she do that? And how would she get in here without us seeing her? She did not do that. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, but sure. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. I don't know. I don't even... Okay, so anyway, the reason I'm cleaning the door off, where uh, we've been threatening to list these posters for like three weeks. We keep telling y'all... We're going to do those posters tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and we find everything else to do but posters. And I am I was over here. I'm like, okay, I'll do this. And I'll roll it out. And I'll weigh it down. It, it, it's a big pain. So I start I started looking around. Candace like, well, you could use magnets on it. And I'm like, yeah, I could do that, I guess. Like on the front and back or whatever. It's just still a pain. Posters are always... A, different size but i started getting magnets off of the door just like some extra little magnets those really strong what are they called neo medium or demium i can't remember how you say it yeah but these little guys they're super duper strong and i started getting those off i'm like wait a second the door is the whole door is a magnet or not magnet but it's metal magnetic so we could just hang the dang things on the door so that's what we're going to do so he's moving the uh yeah we're going to move the whiteboard i don't know to where yet but i'm taking her down it's not even in there really good because it's in metal but uh yeah i'll do that once i'm off camera but uh yeah we're going to take that down i'm going to take most of the stuff i can off of there the stickers i probably will leave most of them i guess yeah and uh, yeah, we'll come back in a minute and show you what we come up with. Okay, I've been wanting to change some things up. And once I started, so <laughs> first I started taking signs down over here. And uh, some of them will go back up, some of them won't. But we, you can see we moved the momentum board over to the wall here. I definitely have my eye on some more signs or pictures or whatever I want to take down or move. There's some that I'll never get rid of, or uh, I might move them, but I'll never get rid of them. Well, one thing we talked about is Lonnie's got a collection of vintage um, computer stuff, like yeah. boxes and actual hard box computers. Yeah, that he wants to put some shelving to display them, because right, right now he has no way to display them. So 
that was one solution just to kind of narrow down which signs he wants to keep maybe rearrange and put some shelving for his collection right. yeah. yep but there are some things i'll never get rid of like uh i won't get rid of that 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 uh i won't get rid of this i like this a lot mm -hmm. i don't know where it'll go this is really nice yeah viewer viewer had that made or made it for me yeah uh i won't get rid of that or that or that or that okay so you're keeping everything no no <laughs> i might i'll probably move that yeah camp run amuck's probably going to get moved that could maybe go. That could probably go on one of the eaves or something. One of the rafters. Yeah, or hung like yeah, yeah. I I do like it. I think it's cool, but it it takes up a lot of room. Yeah. Dunder Mifflin's coming down. I mean, I like the office, but I mean, I'm not. I don't like it that much. So, oh, y'all might have noticed by now. Uh, we've I removed all the stickers from the door. Yeah, look at that. Took everything it's like off a the brand door. New door. It does. It, Candace cleaned it. I cleaned it a little bit. And this is this is the reason. Uh, now we have a spot where we could put put posters and stuff. Yes. And we see these super strong neo medium or however you say that magnets. Mm -hmm. They work well. They hold really well, but they're also a pain because they're so strong. Like they can end up pinching your fingers. Like if they hurt. Like if you get if your finger. Have you had your finger between oh, no, two of those? This is how strong they are. I've had two where I tried to separate them. They're so strong it broke one of them in yeah. half. Just trying to separate them. So they're all some little magnets, but they're man. I just saw it shoot over oh, there. They're all some little boom. <laughs> <laughs> they're all some little magnets. They're just like they're a little too. They're a little too strong. Well, they need. I need some more like this that have on. something you can hang on. Yeah. But the good thing about these is they're so, like when I have them on their side, they're not hiding the poster at all. Right. Hardly, they you know, something so. little, but that you can easily pull on and off. Yeah. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. We've been we've been talking about we've been talking about man. I wish I didn't have all those stickers on the door and blah 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 blah. That would be so useful. And now it is useful. And now. He just ripped off the band-aid. Yeah. Felt kind of good. And now I can actually tackle all these cool posters we have here. Yep. So, yeah, that was a big thing to get done. <laughs> okay, this is the next next poster I'm listing. Y'all, I can't tell you how excited I am. I should have done this a long time ago. Um, this, for those of y'all that aren't familiar, Zaps Chips are really popular down south here they're actually um how far away from here Candace? about 30 minutes uh 45 or so right down the road from where my mom was born and grew up yeah but yeah look check out this poster y'all 1993 the only place Candace did an image search and look found this this is this is a litho they're calling a litho print they're brand new they have five available because it's the actual artist of the print. Yeah. So uh, I guess I don't think this is a litho. I, think I this would call it a poster. It's just a poster. Yeah. But yeah, he he's trying to get three fifty for his. Right. Those so, are probably like prints for framing. Yours is a poster. And he's emotionally attached, of course, since yeah. he made it. Yeah. But I mean, this is just this is so awesome. Just being able to like pop, and the thing's up there in like less than a minute. It's awesome. All right, got my fourth and final poster listed for the day. Um, between Candace and I, we did 23 listings for 615. So good listing day. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about this poster thing <laughs> because we're finally going to clear out all of I'm sorry, keep walking these. Ahead. Yeah, <laughs> all of these posters up here. That was the main blight on the unlisted shelf where all the stupid posters. Not that they're stupid, like we actually have some good ones, but I didn't, I never was gonna, like, I don't know. I'd just come over here and I'd look at them and I'd look somewhere else. And we'd buy more and add to the pile. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'd end up selling them in a garage sale for like a dollar or something. Yeah. Probably more than we paid for them. But, um, you have a plan for storing them, huh? Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just wrapping them in those, uh, cheap garbage bags. 
a little 10 gallon i think mm -hmm. and then writing what they are on the ends and y'all could see i started using this blue tape i need to still need to do that one what we're gonna do we're just i'm gonna move that guitar somewhere and then move that somewhere and then i'm gonna make like a little um I'm gonna use some probably some cardboard just to make a little platform and then we'll store the the posters up there and then whenever they sell i'll just hop up there and grab it and go yep. so i'm pretty excited about that yep. also excited about the buy we're gonna make tomorrow excited and exhausted already thinking about it yeah we have a big day tomorrow because <laughs> we need to go to our storage and um prepare for bringing the stuff in i think right yeah we're yeah uh we should be buying about 1700 items yeah i don't know we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to list up you know what i'll talk more about that in another video uh we need to get off i need to edit video candace is gonna go cook dinner or something yeah and uh yeah that's gonna be it for this one we'll see you all tomorrow Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two. Morning, Candace. Hey, good morning. We have a busy, busy day. Well, I guess we could tell them now, huh? Yeah. So without going into any like minute details, um, a local reseller reached out to us and asked if we would buy their whole eBay store, which is over 1,700 items. And um, they shot us a price that we just couldn't refuse. So. Yeah. We're, so we're buying 1,700 and something items for two thousand dollars a little over a dollar item yeah. and um yeah it's a lot of stuff <laughs> and we, we did look at their ebay store of course before uh making the agreement and um they've taken all their items down so we didn't have to worry about anything any of their the good stuff selling you know right so um yeah we're going to pick all that up this afternoon and it's all going to be boxed up of course it's all in boxes now uh in their whatever inventory system they have so we're just gonna go get the boxes this afternoon pay of course get the boxes and then as we empty off this shelf we'll bring more boxes in yeah and we'll be kind of doing a haul every time we, we might bring in four by four or five boxes from storage that we bought from her yeah it'll be kind of like an unveiling for <laughs> us also right we yeah. saw all the stuff when we candace and i both spent a pretty good bit of time going through the store i mean at the price that we're buying it at we didn't spend like we didn't cry and die right because like we're paying a little over a dollar per per listing so no matter what like it's gonna be good yeah but um yeah, we're not exactly sure what everything is, and we're not going to know, like, when we get the boxes, we're not going to actually know, like, yeah. when we get them from our stores to bring right. them here, we're not going to know what what's in them until we get back. Yeah, the plan is just to grab some boxes off the shelf and bring them straight back here and not to dig through. Right. Um, I know it's hard for Lonnie sometimes to do that. He gets well, so we have to do that, though, yeah. because otherwise... Because we're gonna have, we are, there's there's a mixture as most eBay stores, long running eBay stores are, of, and ours is the same way. Yeah. Really good stuff, good stuff, mediocre stuff, bad, bad stuff. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff we're gonna, like there's 1700 items, we may be donating 400 of them. Yeah. We may be taking another, uh 500 of them and reconfiguring to make them lots of things or something yeah and then you know we might have you know five six hundred like strong good single listings that yeah. are going to go up so it's going to be a mix not everything's great not everything's not great though there's actually a, some really good things there's probably about what i would say there's probably like 30 things that'll probably pay for the whole thing. Right, I think so. You know what I mean? Yeah, and what I'm hoping, I have no idea, I'm hoping that these boxes that we are getting, it's all like things in the same box. Like, hopefully like a box of action figures. That way, if we do want to make lots, it'll make it so much easier on us. Well, I mean, we take it how it comes, you yeah. know? Oh yeah, definitely. But it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, it, it's, it, 
when I, when I first saw the message, I was like, ooh, I don't know, 1,700 items, that's about what we have. But then when I saw the price, I was like, okay, yeah, no brainer. We just got to suck it up and buy it, store it, and get this stuff listed. Yep. And, hey, it's winter. <laughs> yep, winter is here. <laughs> winter is here. Um, we, I just updated momentum board. It's going to be different next month for sure. But our goal, 360 items, $10,000. I updated the numbers. We listed 195 things for 8524 so far this month. We have 10 weekdays left. And we need to average 16 and a half items a day for $147.60 to hit this goal. Yeah. I'm already thinking about next month and next month I'm thinking we are going to really crank this goal up to like 515,000. Oh, the, the number amount, we may even be able to go up to 20, you know, a dollar amount. Oh, the dollar amount? Yeah. I, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking 500 items at 15 grand okay. for next month, okay. because that would be $30 an item yeah. on average. Yeah. And don't forget, this month was easy to hit the 10,000. A lot of that was because of this day right here. Without this day. Right. I mean, we're still gonna. We would we still, still hit, it. hit it, but it would have been tight. Right. So, yeah. four hundred and fifty. No, five hundred and fifteen thousand would be an ambitious goal, in my opinion. Yeah. About. I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do. But first, first we have to go ahead and finish this one, and uh, this is the major number we have to look at. This number is gonna take care of itself. Yeah. So, uh, we do have eBay orders to pull. We do. And maybe something else? Do we have any? No, I don't think so. Just eBay? Yeah. Okay. It was a little bit lighter sales day yesterday, uh, which is good because we do need to go to our storage and reconfigure it a little bit to make room for uh, buying a 1,700 item eBay store. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so ridiculous when I say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> when I think it, it's not that bad. But when I say it, I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? We're basically buying what we have here. Yeah. Minus the shipping and the unlisted shelf. We're basically right. buying that much stuff. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but... Oh. It's a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started pulling these eBay orders. All right, so we have nine things going out. Let's get started. Um, the first two things are on, but from the same buyer. They're both cookbooks on three, Charlie. Uh, Mama Mia. Mama Mia. And all of the Delgado family. Those Libro de, de Cucina. Okay, that's the Mama Mia, right? Libro de what? Cucina. But I mean, it does say Mamma Mia on it. No, no, no. I'll put some other word. You'll see. Okay. And then the other one is All in the, the God Day family. All in the God Day family? Degate. All in the Degate. Okay. I thought you were saying All in Duh. Where did I get this title from? I don't know. Hey, I haven't I seen it. I did not do a cell similar. I had to type. Wait, what's the Arthur's last name? My, uh, Mia? No. <laughs> it's my Mama Mia. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. Look at this title. Where did I come, where did I come up with Let this? Let me see this. Mama Mia Libro di... No, I, I did her last name and I spelled it wrong. Libro <laughs> di Proof Edition. Okay. Oh, well. Uh -huh. They know what they're getting. Yeah. All right. All cool. right so, um, the Mama Mia sold for $19.99 and the All in the Family sold for $14.99. Italian Cajun Cookbooks. That's yes. that's not a bad category. That all in the family, man. I know there's good recipes in there. It's a uh, it was written by an Italian woman who married a Cajun. Oh yeah, how can you go wrong? Yes. Look, look at that. I know. Look, Mary Degate Gidry. Yep. <laughs> Her name. I love it. Now the first few pages is your cookbook standard mm -hmm. that they just throw in there, but yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Look yeah. at that. Look, she has she has this dish is named after her. Oh no, that's the, they put the name of the person they yeah. got the recipe from. Yeah, on the right. this is family members contributed some of them. Oh, that's yep. that's pretty awesome. That's yeah. what you want to do, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. All right, we have a pocket talker going out on one Charlie. What? What'd you say? A pocket talker. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound. There's something wrong about that. All right. 
Yeah, this guy. I actually took a little bit of an offer on it. They wanted, well, we had it listed at 50 and they wanted to buy it for 30 and I, I countered with 40 and they yep, bought it. 40 bucks. Yeah. All right, we have some stuff under the, or in your bench, I think. Oh, a yeah. Nine X Files books. Yeah, I've got several lots here and I have another one there. So this is lot C that's okay. sold. Okay, I'm gonna go figure out which one is which. Okay, we Candace and I just went title for title just to double check, and this is the lot. It's amazing how many books were written about X Files, and I think this is the third time I've sold these or something. So, um, like last spring, we bought a huge lot of X Files books and, um, and magazines. And magazines. Um, and this is what this lot came out of. Yeah, and the magazine lot sold for good money. Yeah, we've done well. It was like 80 bucks or something like that. And then we sold a couple of lots like this already. I think yeah. we have one lot left. I think, yeah, I think there is. Um, so that one sold for $23.99. Okay. Um, we had a Hot Wheels auction that ended last night. It's on 6 Delta. Yep, I put a little post-it note on there. It's six red lines in kind of rough shape. They went for $50. And you can edit the kind of to really? just... not. Yeah, I would just say rough shape. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I put it in there, too. I said there in the description, I put uh, there in... Um, They're well-loved. They all have... <laughs> I said they all have major issues or something like that. And this, then none of them roll well at all. And also said, and the station wagon is missing a wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rough. But I was happy with that with that price we oh, got yeah. there. Yeah. That was good. It's six of them that went for fifty. Okay, we sold a dog fleece hoodie. It's on four alpha. The bag with stuff full of hoodies. Okay. It's a white poly bag. Stars, stars? Yeah. four alphas, mediums. Yes. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be in here. Yeah. Cut it, cut. Yeah, we still have a bunch of those left. Is that the right one? Yeah. Let me just check the size. Medium, all good. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh we're we not need, doing where's this? Oh well, look, you just need to make sure it's not going to... Okay. Okay. Well... So that, that one sold for eight ninety nine. Let me backtrack and look up the states real quick. Okay, I'm going to go put this bag up. Okay. Okay, so the cookbooks are going to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. The pocket talker is going to <laughs> Livermore, California. That's such a weird... <laughs> hey, I'm the pocket talker. The X-Files are going to Orlando, Florida. What was next? The Hot Wheels are going to Wooster, Ohio. And the dog hoodie is going to New York, New York. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Next item is a harmonica in the smalls drawer. Okay. It's in the box. The smalls drawers. I wonder how many items have gone through the smalls drawer. I know. It's got to be a thousand. It always stays packed because when Lonnie's listing little things, he uh, I just go whoop right yeah. there. <laughs> um, so that's going to Ferndale, Washington, and it sold for um, $14.99. That was actually something we had on the shelf that was not mm -hmm. listed. So I listed it a week ago. Yep. A lot of this stuff is like that. Yeah. Uh, all, well, let's see. The Hot Wheels are like that. Yeah. This is like that. Pocket Talker was that. Yeah. Those are all three death, death pile items. Yep. All right, so um, we sold the cuckoo clock for as is for port, parts or repair. For ports only. Ports or repair. Ports only, folks. Ports or repair, folks. <laughs> it's on one echo. Okay. That was our rendition of the moose in uh, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. Ports closed, folks. <laughs> uh, one echo? Yes. I'll what am I getting? A cuckoo clock. Oh, it's in that box. I think. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is it here. Oh yeah, I can hear it now. Anytime you move it around, you hear it like yeah. chiming. 
guess you need to kind of make those where they can make uh, noise, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll try and... We got some scare postal delivery people. <laughs> Um, that's over 30. It's going to Newcastle, Indiana. IN is Indiana, right? IN? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay. And the last item we're pulling is a, a hat. A so hand, a hat. A handmade hat out of palm leaves on CC11. Oh, I got two hats. Two straw looking hats here. But you did say CC11, so I'll pull the one off of there. Yep. Since that's what you said. Um, it's sold for 30. It's going to sell in California. Okay. It um, looks like it. We'll verify the brand. Um, it's called Latins. Is the brand, I think. It's seven and a quarter? Yeah. Okay. Well, this Light is... band, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll verify for sure. Because that's I don't want to ship the wrong hat. No. All right. So yeah, a little bit of a light sales day, but uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get this stuff packed up. Okay, packages are all away. Candace is working on some forty fives. Yep. Uh, we have some really good titles. So I just went through and I made a list of them and condition of each one, like some good eighties uh, rock. And, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I saw a bunch in there. Fleetwood Mac. All kind of good uh, stuff. There's, there's the some, knack. There's some Madonna in there. There's some new wave. Yep. It's, it's the, some good Duran, stuff. Duran, the police. Yep. And then we had a bunch of crap titles. He kind of we're gonna just donate those, and then the other case is just gonna look out. Man, that thing looks new. They're very clean, um, and so I think we can get twenty dollars for just one of the cases. That's that's something we've actually sold quite a bit of in the past. Um, record cases tape cases yeah we used i used to dabble around with like vhs um storage things and the price on those just dropped and they're not that easy to ship because they're usually pretty bulky but like uh like we, the faux wood grain ones right yeah. uh but the cassette the cassette cases they still sell and we're not talking huge money. We're usually talking like fifteen dollars or something. You can usually pick them up for like fifty cents. Right, you yeah. can pick them up like dirt cheap. Even at estate sales, they're yeah. cheap a lot, of, especially on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, we've sold record crates before. They even have like the little wooden record crates that people would buy at like Sound Warehouse. Yep. Um, the Napa, I think, or something like that is the name of them. But yeah, all those uh, media storage things. They're worth, I'm not saying they're all worth buying because they're not, but they're worth checking out. Because, like, C condition is important too. Of condition course. matters. Yeah. But, like, selling that for 20, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, that's a free, like, that's a super easy pack for me, too. Yeah. Like, that's just all around a good, good kind of item to sell. Mm -hmm. I am, I forgot, this was actually in the truck. I went and took a peek at the truck because we're getting ready to go pick up a bunch of stuff today later on today uh and i forgot this this bev this is part of the bev buy too so i went ahead and got it out put it all together inventoried it it's all there i don't know this might this has the potential to be a bad buy because i did pay 12 for it but i saw like some cops are really good for like six player ones this is a six player we'll we'll see i don't know i don't feel i don't i don't feel too bad about it it won't be too bad to ship or anything if it's not worth selling, we'll keep it. No, we're not. No, I'm going to sell the thing. Uh, and then after I finish this, I'm going to, well, I need to roll that one up and bag it, tag it. Figure out your storage up there, huh? Yeah, I need to do that. And then for the next hour or two, I'm going to continue listing the posters. We're going to get this shelf done, man. Yeah. We're, we're doing good with it. It looks like it has a lot of stuff on it, but a lot of those boxes are empty and there's, you know, empty boxes. Well, I need there. to move this. This is actually just a storage location. Yeah. I need to move that to a different yeah, there's shelf. there's not a lot left on there. No, there's really not. So I'm feeling good about this. And we need to, uh, we need to prepare ourselves for all this inventory coming in. <laughs> not, I mean, we're not going to like list. We're going to definitely have to pick up the pace of listing. But what we're probably not going to be doing for the next two months, I don't see us sourcing at all. No. Like, I mean, no. zip. Like, not even estate sales, you know. It's, there's just no point in it. No. We're no. Put, we're putting out money, and now it's going to be time to list and get the money back. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. 
So I'm I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, the, the longer I do this, the more I appreciate the days where I don't have to leave the house. I know. If I'm honest. Yeah, weekends off. What? Yeah, and and yeah, that's the big thing. Getting that huge influx of inventory and that peace of mind from having that inventory. And then not having to go out on weekends for a couple of months until spring. I mean, we're going in spring. All right. We're going to garage sales. There's no doubt. We have yeah. to. Because that's where you can really find the high, high uh, return stuff. Right. But yeah, for the next two months, weekends off. and It's perfect timing for me. You know why? Girl Scout cookie sales start tomorrow, and so we're going to have booths on the weekends and a lot going on, so yep. it's perfect timing for us. And y'all get ready. We don't hawk a lot of stuff on our channel <laughs> for us or anything. Like, I, I, I really don't feel comfortable doing that. I mention things like Bubble Boy from time to time. I do not feel comfortable hawking things. Like, I, I do like to share what we buy and use and believe in and, you know, what, what we think is a good idea. Uh, let's talk about that earlier. Like, like Granger, for instance, yep. we share that. Yeah, we, we don't make any we money on it, dime off of that, but, but we use it. So we, we like we like the product, so we want to share it. You know? Right, and it's a good, and a lot of people have used that. So we don't like hawking things. However, uh, brace yourself because I am going to be shamelessly hawking Girl Scout cookies once that starts. <laughs> it's going to be twice a video, every video. Uh, my goal is to get a bunch of Girl Scout cookies sold for this troop this year. So, <laughs> but get ready. If you don't like, if you don't want to buy them, that's cool. Yeah. It, I'll keep it quick, yeah. but it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. <laughs> okay, let me get back on, the, back on these uh, croquet set that might not be able to sell i actually you know what i'll be able to sell it i'll sell it you will for whatever price i get for it. i don't you care or you can donate it to the girls Club. no <laughs> no <laughs> they don't want to play croquet anyway you know that it might be the look pickleball came back well okay we need to sell plenty of cookies so they can afford to buy it <laughs> all right check this one out this is one of the this is one of the really cool posters here this is from 1969 National Collegiate Marketing Corporation, and I doubt it's licensed, or it, that might have not even been a thing yeah, at that point. Yeah, it probably wasn't a thing back then. You but know. look at these, look at these masks. First of all, the SEC only had 10 members, and I'm looking to see if there's anything really weird here, because I know at one point, like way back in the day, even Tulane was part of the SEC. Did you know that? Yeah. Remember we had that uh, those schedule things with two legs? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, look. Okay, so we got LSU. The gator is ridiculous looking. Look at that. I like how they all have Kentucky. human arms and bodies on these with these animals. And then you have you have all the you have a bunch of animals and then you have that's a volunteer. He's and then crazy. look at this dude. What is that's Alabama with the little uh Bryant, Bear Bryant hat but that was when Bear Bryant was still there. Yeah. And then uh, it's like being pouty about something. Look at the Commodore, he's pissed too. I know. But then the little Colonel Reb got some kind of stogie there. He's eyeballing the gator. <laughs> <laughs> I love this poster is cool. It's very cool. It does have a few condition issues. It's not bad though, I guess. If you framed it, it would be fine. Yeah, it's got some yeah. blemishes here and there. But yeah, I I don't even know what this thing's gonna be worth, but it's cool. Okay, I've spent spent about ten minutes researching that poster. And um, no soul. Well, let me show you what I found. So first of all, I found similar posters for Southwest Conference that sold for 150, and then here's one for the Big Ten that sold for 22050. And this is this is that same image, but it's on a postcard, nine by six inch postcard that sold for twenty dollars. That's the southeastern one. Now, when I go to when I go to Worth Point, all of these are uh, postcards, except for this one. This was interesting. This is that same thing, except it, somebody redid it in 2015. That's actually an oil painting, 
and they added the extra teams that weren't there before. Like, uh, what, South Carolina? Who else was in here? Um, let's see. Who, oh, A&M wasn't in back then. Who else? Missouri? Is that it? I think that's it. And may, Oh, Arkansas. Arkansas, I think, was in... Yeah, Arkansas was in Southwest Conference at that point. But that's really cool. Somebody made like a... That's an original oil painting somebody sold for $1,200. Um, but then other other than that, we have all these are the postcards that sold for $20 to $40. Actually, this is a bigger picture, I think, like 10 by 8, probably, yeah. a, re, probably a repop or something like mm -hmm. that. And then we have this. Now, this one is so strange. I wonder if this didn't even go through or what. Yeah. This is that poster... And they say 20 by 25, so it is a poster, in a poster frame. And it looks like one of those cheap plastic poster frames to me, or maybe not. Actually, that looks wood now from the backside. Uh, but they were selling it framed, and they got supposedly $14.50. I don't understand. Yeah. That make, like given all those other numbers I just showed y'all, how does that make sense? I wonder if when they went to comp it, they saw the postcards and didn't pay attention or didn't like really look and assumed. I don't know. Like I almost wonder if this is bogus. Like maybe it didn't go through or something. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna see if I can pull this thing up on Terapeak. Cause I'm wondering if maybe it was an auction that went bad or something like that. Because, look, that is from October 16th, 2023. I copied... Yeah, it, this was eBay. I copied that title and then put it in a Terapeak. Nothing. Last two years, and it doesn't come up with anything. Even if you just search Southeastern Conference Family Portrait, it doesn't pull one up. No. Well, I, I'll do that even. Yeah. But no, it doesn't... No, it doesn't pull it up. So I'm thinking that's just bogus. I'm going to act like that or doesn't... Or maybe they ended up canceling it or something like that. Can Candace didn't like my idea. Well, I didn't know I didn't know what you were going to do. Because so, normally when... He was talking auction, and normally when we do an auction, we start around a penny. We've never started an auction at more than $20. Well, what what here's my thought, is I'm going to... We're going to come up with a number that we would like to sell it for. Like if we're going to do a buy it now that we would like to get for a buy it now. And then we're going to start an auction at that number, starting starting bid for that number, for a seven-day auction. And fully expecting it won't sell. But if it does, and people get in a bidding war on it, then that would be awesome. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then we just relist it for a buy it now at that price. Yeah. And now we, have, now we have the peace of mind that we put it out in the open market for it to get way more because I got to think if, if you can get a couple hundred for Southwest conference or big 10, you could easily get that or more for Southeastern conference. Yeah, everybody knows SEC is the best, huh? Not this year. <laughs> <laughs> big Usually. 10, big 10 won the whole thing this historically. year. Historically, Yeah. Historically. Yes. But big 10 props to them. Uh, they cheated and won this year. So <laughs> they actually did. Their coach got suspended this year for cheating, and then they ended up winning the title. Wow. Yeah, which I, in my, I don't want to make this a sports show. Is it like Inflategate? It is somewhat like Inflategate because it was cheating, or Deflategate, actually. Yeah, Deflategate. It, it was cheating, but it was the kind of cheating I think everyone does. They got... They, they just got caught. Yeah, so you're not... Like Will Wade. You're not allowed to send coaches or scouts or whatever you're not allowed to scout opposing teams by sending your coaches or your personnel and then videotaping your one of your opponents at a game that they're playing before you play them and try and steal their signs and figure figure right. out their signs right. you're allowed to look at game tape but you're not allowed to like film the sidelines yeah but with all the money at stake in college football, 
if anyone thinks Michigan is the only program that was doing that, uh, you are very naive. I wouldn't be surprised that they all do that. Michigan just happened to get caught in Jim Harbaugh. There's probably like this thing, like how the paparazzi gets paid for their photos. There's probably average Joes out there selling footage. Oh, sure. Yeah. Of course. Like, of course. Like, wouldn't why wouldn't a coach of a big of a of a major football program pay Joe Blow a thousand dollars to record the side? Just keep his iPhone locked on the sideline for the whole right, game, right. you know, but that's not, but anyways, I don't want to turn this into a sports thing. I think we're, that's what we're going to do with so this two, one. 200 is what you're thinking? What do you think? That's what I think. Do you think 150? No. I if, say if, go for 200. I'm going to start at 150. Okay. Because I'd be happy selling it for that still. And then I also think if we, if we make it a little lower like that, then it may encourage more people to come in to bid. Okay. But we'll try that out. Yeah. We're going to try that out for seven days. We'll see. Okay, we just got back from load one. Yeah, so we weren't able to get it all on one trip with two vehicles. Yeah, we had we brought a we brought a, a full-size pickup truck with a camper shell on it, filled up the whole back of the camper shell, filled up the back seat of my truck, filled up the passenger seat of my truck, and we filled up the minivan. It's yeah. a Dodge Caravan. Yep. It was full in all places, nooks yeah, and crannies and we too. We still couldn't get it all, so we're going back again tomorrow. I think we, I think we probably got about sixty-five percent of the stuff. Yeah, maybe sixty percent. Man, I hope we don't have to make a third trip. Whew. But we and we fit it all into storage. I did bring one box back. I haven't even looked through it. I did. I looked this one game up. Wario, Wario Land, Shake It. This is just a sampling of what we picked up and i don't know what's worth what's worth money and what's not no. could be some lot wear in here we all can see the games that are in here steel diver what's this? i mean if there was something like super good great it probably would have sold already oh uh, these are just dvds over here HSCs. Some, some this stuff wasn't listed. Uh, yeah, it's, it is possible too that some of this stuff was not even listed. There's a oh, we got a couple of uh, the, DS's. The hinge is no good. Huh? The hinge is no good. Yeah, that's a pretty common fault. I mean, it can still be sold, of course. Yeah, looks like um, some manga down there. Look, these are. Let's see. Go through those titles real quick see what we have and this is what we're going to be doing with y'all every now and then when we go get stuff is we're just going to go through it with y'all and uh you'll you'll find out a lot about this stuff when we do but it is yeah. bulk see like that's probably a lot a lot of stuff there those games yeah. i probably would not try and sell those together and like yep comics uh graphic novels mm -hmm there okay there was a street fighter 2 for game boy here and then there's some more stuff down there so yeah that's the first box of many 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 boxes yeah he was excited <laughs> to see video games so he grabbed it but uh yeah we are we're tired we did unload the van candace is about to go to girl scouts yes so we got the van unloaded truck is still mostly full so we're gonna pull orders in the morning unload that come work in the shed with y'all for a bit and then we're going to go over there tomorrow afternoon again and get the rest, and, get the rest. Yep. and uh then we won't source for a couple of months i hope yeah that's the plan <laughs> yeah so uh that is going to be it for this one thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye